Hey everyone, your visual vocabulary is similar to your normal vocabulary. These are the images and sketches that you frequently use to express your thoughts. In today's video, I want to give you six different approaches for linking your visuals with your text-based notes and for linking your visuals with your other visual notes. To be honest, this is the reason I started to develop Obsidian Excolid Draw in the first place. For the last two decades, I was searching for the right tool, the tool that could seamlessly merge my drawings and my text-based notes into one integrated knowledge base. Because I couldn't find one, I finally decided to take things into my hand, and this is how this plugin was born. So let's dive into the different strategies that you can take. The first strategy is to simply insert an image into your drawing. For example, you can see here that my thumbnail for the video is a separate Excolibur drawing. And if I open the Excolibrain view for this drawing, then you can see that this thumbnail is linked to my YouTube channel map of content, as well as it's linked to the drawing that we were looking at the previous moment. And in fact, this drawing also has a pasted image. I think it was this airplane that I copied from somewhere the internet. But going back, you can see that this image up here my sketchnote your brain icon is also an inserted image and if i open this image then you will see that i've used this sketchnote your brain icon already in a number of different places and you can see that in this case this is used as an example in my linking your visual vocabulary drawing i'll talk a bit later about how i got this link here that in this case, it is a friend relationship and it has this label example in Excolibrain. But moving on, the second approach that you can take is to add images from your library. So hopefully you're aware of the Stencil library. This is the Stencil library. It's very easy to add images of your own to the Stencil library. So for example, if I create this very simple image right here, or this very simple icon right here, I can select this object, I can open the stencil library, and if I press the plus button here, then from then on, this item is going to be in my stencil library and I can easily use it in other drawings. However, if I just simply use this drawing in other drawings, I'm not going to be able to find this. So there are a couple of strategies that you can take to overcome this. And all of the strategies involve adding a text field to your drawing. So the simplest approach you can see here with my video tag is to add a tag to the image itself. And you will see here that I have a number of examples of those items in my library. So for example, here's my icon for a person. And when I add this, this automatically adds the tag person to this document. And if I want to search based on this tag, I'm going to find this document as well. Similarly, to adding tags to images. You can also add links or you can even add links with a data view field. And to go one step further, if you don't want to see that text when you reuse the image because you think that that text would clutter your view or would look ugly on the image, you can make the text transparent. So in this case, what you can see here is I have a text element here that is transparent. If I switch this text to black, then what you will see here is I have this icon embedded here, which represents the thought or the idea of combining components. And the text I have included with this icon is the example double colon and then the link to combining components. What this does is this creates a data view field called example and adds this link 
to that data view field. So if I now hide this again, you can see I have an icon that doesn't appear to have any text, but then if I look at my Excolibrain visual here, then you can see that I have combining components here, which is an example uh, of, or the better way to read this is linking your visual vocabulary is an example of combining various components, combining various strategies for doing this. And if I open combining components, then you can see that uh, it is currently used in two different places. The other place is the place from where I took this. This was a presentation by Laura Evans Hill uh, last week at the Link Your Thinking conference about visual thinking frameworks. And that's where I picked up this representation from and this is what I'm reusing on this drawing as well. The next approach is very similar to adding items from your stencil library but in this case instead of adding an item with a text element I simply add text elements to the drawing itself. So for example, you can see that if I create a text element that says example, then this is going to appear in my tags list. So let's take a look. If I open my tags right here and I search for example, there's quite a number of tags here. I search for example, you can see this is the tag for example. And if I search on this, then this is the only document where I'm using this tag but simply by adding a text element to this document with the hashtag example adds that tag to this document. The same is true for adding simply a link. So in this case, I added the double bracket example link here. And then again, if I look at Excolibrain, I can see that this document has now a child called example and this example is an unresolved link meaning this document doesn't exist in obsidian at this time so that's why it has this color in excolibrain and then the last example down here as you can see i can also add a text element with a data view field and a value and in this case this is how i added myself as the author of this visual by adding this text element to the document. I linked my document in my Obsidian Vault with this visual. Going further, we have some other approaches as well. Uh, you can add links and tags in the Markdown view. So the way it works is if I open my drawing in Markdown mode, then you can see that here above the text element section, I have a couple of front matter switches as well as I have some data view fields with values. Anything that goes above text elements is going to be retained by Excolidraw, meaning whatever you write here and however long, however many lines this is, Excolidraw will simply copy paste this and preserve the text you put here. So if you put here metadata, either tags or a description or links, like in this case, these are going to be preserved. And so here you can see that this is how I'm linking my drawing to my YouTube channel map of content, as well as to the visual vocabulary topic. Also, what you can see here is that I linked my Sketchnote Your Brain icon as an example, as a friend relation to my drawing. So this is the icon I'm talking about. And this is what I mentioned to you earlier, that Sketchnote Your Brain appeared on the left while my thumbnail, so this is my thumbnail, uh, my thumbnail appeared uh, as a child node. The difference is that in case of Sketchnote Your Brain, I included this additional line here as example Sketchnote Your Brain. In case of my 
thumbnail it is not included like this only embedded into the drawing and thus it will be reflected as a child by Excolibrain. Going further the other way you can uh, link your drawing to other notes in your vault is by creating backlinks to this drawing in other documents. So for example you can see that this drawing is linked as I'm working on this topic today Sunday May 29th and if I open my daily notes for Sunday then you can see here that here I have this data view tag that I'm working on and I state the name of the topic I'm working on and this will become a friend relationship in Excolibrain and again this just adds an additional richness to the way I integrate my drawing with my other notes. And finally, you can also add images and use them as templates. I have a library of different templates. And so, for example, bridging the gap is a template that I may want to use. This is very similar to how the thumbnail is added or how uh, this drawing right here is added. The difference is how I use this. And in this case, I want to use this as a template. When I use this as a template, then it's best to right click on the image and to lock the image. By doing this, this image cannot be selected. And thus, when I edit this drawing right here, so when I come here and I edit this, I can easily write on top of this and it is so this is go oh, okay so my text now is transparent I can easily add text here so um, this is going to be resource one and then I can add resource two resource three resource four so I can add my resources I can add uh, today's date here of course if I would now add today's date uh, like this so if i would just simply uh, write today's date as it is sunday then this would become automatically a link and in this case i might not need the backlink from the other document that would be another option to link this but so this is the basic idea that here i can visually fill out the template and then if i want to see where i used this template earlier i can do exactly the same as i did in the previous examples i can navigate to this template and see all the places where i've use this we can even do that so if i open my template right here bridging the gap then you can you can see that these are the different places from where i'm referencing bridging the gap i hope you've found this walkthrough of the different strategies to link your sketches with your text-based notes and to link your sketches with other sketches using xcolidraw helpful and as mentioned here, uh, in terms of combining approaches or combining components, think of these different approaches as different strategies, workflows that you can combine to create the linking that you need. There is a very rich tool set to combine your text-based notes with your sketches. Thank you.